In today's video, we are going to be looking at the intelligence of the French Bulldog and the best way to train them. Welcome back to the French Bulldog channel. If this is your first time here, my name's Debojo. I'm a canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the French Bulldog. Then, how to become high-level canine leaders that can raise perfect French Bulldogs. So, if you're a lifelong French Bulldog lover, thinking about getting one, or just started your journey with your new French Bulldog, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future French Bulldog video. So then, let's get into today's video where we will be looking at the intelligence levels of the French Bulldog and the best way to train them to keep both you and them happy together. So, according to the official ranking of dog intelligence, the poor little Frenchie is way down at 109th out of 138 dog breeds. Now, on the surface, that indicates a below average intelligence. However, the reason they are so low down in the rankings is due to their stubbornness. If you are to get one of these little dogs, be prepared to come up against a clever, stubborn companion that has their own best interest at heart. So, according to the official ranking of dog intelligence, the poor little Frenchie is way down at 109th out of 138 dog breeds. Now, on the surface, that indicates a below average intelligence. However, the reason they are so low down in the rankings is due to their stubbornness. If you are to get one of these little dogs, be prepared to come up against a clever, stubborn companion that has their own best interests at heart. Now, this isn't to say that they're untrainable. They know when it's worth listening to you. It will just be a labor of love and patience when it comes to getting them to listen to you on your terms. Stubbornness aside, they can be deceptively clever little dogs. They will learn to test your patience as they are famously into making mischief. Whilst you can't always expect a wholly obedient dog from a Frenchie, like you'd expect of a Collie, they will probably still surprise you. They will be a people pleaser, but mainly for their main companion. If you get this little dog as a couple, make sure to spend as much time as your partner training them. This will ensure that your Frenchie will listen to both of you. So yes, their stubbornness can hinder their training and test your patience. However, for their owner, they will be eager to please. It's always best to discover if your dog is more food or praise orientated early on so they associate training with the reward they want from a young age. A firm hand is what is going to be needed to train your Frenchie, but harsh correction is unlikely to produce a well-trained dog. French Bulldogs respond best to positive reinforcement. Hey guys, if you're not already, you should be following our Fenrir Rescue Diaries over on Fenrir Canine Training Channel. That is following my journey of working at a rescue centre, helping dogs that have been abandoned, abused, given up or found as strays and helping implement behaviour modification programmes to allow them to become perfect canine companions that can be rehomed to their forever homes. So if you're interested in following my journey of how I do that, there'll be a link to that channel down in the description box below. I think you'll really enjoy the journey, but I'll let you get back to the video you were just watching. As a puppy, once they're cleared to meet and greet other people and other dogs, it is so, so important to socialize them correctly. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean meeting as many dogs and as many people as possible. It's more that they need to explore the world around them in a positive way to ensure you have a well-rounded dog that's less likely to be reactive. Taking this little dog into places like cafes and dog parks and teaching them from a young age not to beg or not to charge over to every dog they see is crucial to a happy life with them. Whilst they aren't the most intimidating breed to look at, their upright ears and alert eyes can come across as confrontational body language to another dog. The last thing you want is for them to think is that running over to all other dogs that they see is good manners. It could get them into trouble should they approach a nervous or reactive dog. 
Recall on a stubborn dog can be a task that may take you months or even years to master. It is worth the effort though. Until this is set in stone, I'd be reluctant to let a Frenchie truly off lead. Instead, whilst you don't have 100% confidence in your dog's recall, a long line, simply a lead that can be 5 to 10 feet, will be your safety net. So let's do a quick recap to end today's video. Whilst the Frenchie is classed as below average intelligence in the rankings, they are clever in their own right. They will test your patience with their stubbornness and you may need to persuade them with extra tasty treats when trying to teach them a new command, but they can surprise you when you do crack their codes. Teaching your Frenchie good manners from a young age is a must. Through no fault of their own, their upright ears and prominent eyes can unsettle other dogs. Being a responsible Frenchie parent means educating yourself on these topics. It is the best thing you can do for your Frenchie pup. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comment section below, and don't forget that if you are new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Frenchie Bulldog videos coming here every week, so I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the French Bulldog channel. Hey guys, very quickly, I just wanted to ask, are you following us over on Instagram? If you're not, there's two accounts I would love for you to check out. The first one is our brand account, at Femre Canine Leaders, where you can see more about our industry leading products that we create. If you're interested in following me personally, that's at I am Will Afferton, where you can see behind the scenes of me working with some of the most extreme behavior cases in the world and what it takes to run these kind of YouTube channels. And maybe if you just want to be able to come over and chat with me, that's the place for you. So there'll be links down in the description box for both of our Instagram pages. I'd love for you to come and check them out and hopefully we'll chat over there.